Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. I'm here with Ali Tabrizi, who's in the middle of a multi-year project on a film, a documentary about the state of our ocean. And so instead of me waxing on about that, I'm gonna let you, who knows much more about this now because you've been immersed into it. Yeah. Well, what, what do you think is the, the large, I know there's many issues surrounding what's going on with the, the oceans and fish. Why should people not eat fish? There's so many reasons why I encourage people to think twice about eating fish, especially when people are starting to think about their diet more these days, mm -hmm. transitioning from red meats to other sorts of meats because the information is getting out about how damaging these products are for not only the environment, but for your health. Footage of these animals in these slaughterhouses is just nasty. But yeah, people, people see fish yeah. as a, a, a positive, yeah, healthy, absolutely. environmentally better yeah. alternative to red meat and, yeah. and the like. So what what have you learned in your research here? Well, I used to think this as well. I used to think that there was like sort of like a scale and it used to get like better and better for your health the further down like sized animal you go. So you go from cow to pig, <laughs> chicken to fish, and they're at the bottom. But what I've started to realize is they're basically all the same. The amount of cholesterol found in like a T-bone steak is about the same as just a handful of shrimp. So like people think that it's somehow healthier to eat shrimp or prawns or fish, but it's actually the same amount of cholesterol oftentimes, the same amount of saturated uh, fat. It right. varies, it does vary, but generally Still, it's the same. And it's when not we get into better. yeah, when we get into pollutants uh, and toxins that are found in fish, something like 70% of all the chemicals produced since the industrial revolution are found in fish. 70%. So it's thousands of chemicals in, in, that are found in fish, so Wow, that, <laughs> yeah. that's shocking. Yeah. That must be like literally thousands upon thousands mm -hmm. of chemicals yeah, that are found in much. today's fish. Yeah. So just on a health stance alone, there's reasons enough for you to, you know, mercury as well, I mean, and how that affects infant and childbirth and everything else and the neurological effects of that. Just on on those basis alone, it should be enough to make people think twice about it. Yeah, pollutants concentrate in into fish, right? So if when people yeah. think they're making a healthier choice by having fish, yeah, we've shown their cholesterol, saturated fat are not improved, and in fact, you're getting more pollutants by uh, eating fish mm. so on a health measure it, it, it's no improvement it's no better no. how about environmentally people think well yeah they, they've seen cowspiracy who kip from cowspiracy's help producing your, your documentary is that correct that's right yeah. all right and if anyone's seen that knows how the horrible effect that, that animal agriculture is having on the environment so a lot of people are thinking okay i don't want to go vegan that's too tough maybe i'll just eat fish how is that? Is that an improvement? <sighs> yeah, the amount of times people have asked me this, is fish better for the environment? Straight up, it isn't. Uh, you can find some areas of the world, like if you're, you know, a small indigenous tribe in the middle of nowhere, and like, you know, you, you have a few fish. We're not talking about those people. We're talking about people like in this civilization where, you know, people are watching YouTube and just going to supermarkets. Commercial fishing. Yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. not. I mean, the fishing industry is probably the most ruthless when it comes to the destruction of the environment, especially as it's so hard to regulate. These ships are hundreds of miles out of sea. They have fishing nets. Hundreds of kilometers long, like hundred kilometer long long lines. Mind blowing. Trawlers that just literally like the bulldoze the bottom that, of the ocean yeah, exactly. and get anything and everything Coral in its path. Gone. And so you don't know what you're catching when you're sticking a net into the ocean. So you know, issue of bycatch. Bycatch is huge. It's mm -hmm. absolutely huge. I mean, it's something ridiculous. Like forty percent. All the facts can be found on our Instagram page at the moment at Sea Spiracy, um, and that's where all the facts are. But it's huge. When we're talking about also the bycatch of larger marine animals such as mm. dolphins and whales yeah. and sharks and turtles, these animals are getting wiped out literally from small amounts of plastic, small uh. effects from climate change. But the big player in this is the fishing industry. So how? What is the state? How healthy are the current major fisheries on this planet? They're really not doing good. It's something like three quarters of the world's fisheries are overexploited uh, on the verge of collapse. So um, for vegans, that sounds yeah. great. It's going to force people to not eat fish, but we're not the only people on or creatures on this planet that have an appetite for fish, correct? No, absolutely not. You know, the other animals uh, depend on those those fish. Depend. For food. Yeah, they absolutely do. And the thing is, it's like if we don't decide now, nature will decide for us. So whether we overfish them to the point where we have no other choice but to eat plant-based foods with a growing population of 7 billion people growing even more like to 9 and 10 billion, we're going to have to start thinking about this. Plants will always be more sustainable. And I'm waiting uh, for that day. I hope we make a choice before that. But unfortunately, other species will be affected or wiped out before that, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Sharks are on the verge of uh, extinction. They're down to only about 5 to 10% of their, their, their historic numbers. 90% of all predatory fish are gone. Uh, it's like Beautiful species like whale sharks are down to... like down. Uh, I think it's like 30% of what they used to be. Blue whales down to like 3% of what they used to be. And it's so hard to measure these things. The ocean is a big place and trying to regulate and trying to number all these animals is a very hard job. But 
they're all on the verge of, verge of collapse and, and, and extinction. Wow, just because we have a such a, a penchant for for commercial fishing and the pollution pollutants that we're putting yeah, into the ocean. There's multiple reasons, but the, yeah, the fishing industry is being forgotten. There's a big emphasis on plastic at the moment, which is amazing to see. Plastic do, does need more attention and the effects of like pollution and, and all of those things, but the big ones really are the fishing industry. Okay, so fishing outweighs the plastic and other toxins. Yeah, no, I mean, not to downplay those yeah, other important yeah. issues, but, but that like has the a bigger industry, impact. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and people don't like to think about like changing food as much as they do think like talking about like the packaging that the food comes in, but mm -hmm. really that needs to be the emphasis. Wow. Yeah. And what what other things we've talked about the the personal health, the mm -hmm. planetary health. What else? What else can we get out there to to let the shock people into like realizing wow maybe you shouldn't eat fish anymore yeah i mean people just don't generally connect with fish and i totally understand that i mean i've spent the like the last year or two really focusing on this fish issue and the ocean issue and i've really come to really connect with the ocean and to connect with those marine animals um but yeah people just don't connect with them and there's some great information out there there's a book called uh, what a fish knows by uh, jonathan balcombe which just came out and the information in that book is incredible uh the studies on fish how they respond to pain how they respond to pleasure the way that some fish use tools to open their food <laughs> um this is the, this is the kind of behavior that we've only just been studying in primates and, and other animals like that but they can be seen in fish it's incredible uh, the, the way they use uh, democracy in schools of fish the way they they migrate the way they attract mates this is the kind of behavior that you can see in like dogs and pigs and and monkeys and dolphins now being seen in fish it's incredible so in case your opinion hasn't been changed by our little video here, I'm sure your opinion will be changed once your documentary film finally comes out. So how can people follow you? Where do they need to go? And will they be able to not only get notifications, will they be able to get some facts and stuff from you too? Yeah, absolutely. Because the film's not going to be out for a little while. Um, but at the moment, Lucy uh, over on the Instagram page has been working hard, doing all the research for several, several months and condensing them into kind of little memes with descriptions of the actual facts so go ahead on uh, head over to Instagram at Seaspiracy and you'll see loads of pictures that Lucy's been creating and they're just wealth of, of information there so you can repost those and also on our website www.seaspiracy.org there's a little sign up box that you can put your email into and you'll get updates of when the film's going to be available so yeah, yeah yeah be sure to follow them and be sure to watch out for their movie it's anything like you know in the vein of like Cowspiracy and what the hell mm. it's going to blow people's minds I'm so Absolutely. happy I'm so proud that you're doing this so cool awesome <laughs> so thanks for popping by i know you got a lot of you're busy here on your swing through the united states so i'm glad you made time to come see us yeah absolutely you guys have been friends for a while and it's uh so it's good to come down to long beach and check out the ocean cool yeah that's what we're gonna do now so yeah let's get out here let's go check out the ocean so yeah all right guys so thanks for watching and until next time lay off that fish and keep it carved baby keep it carved <laughs>